everyone and welcome back. Um, today I'm doing the third installment of the Retro by Decade, like Beauty by Decade series. Um, so today I'm doing the 1930s. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> it's the third one. I had, to, I had to think about that for a minute. Um, and so I definitely was channeling um, Marlena from Water for elephants and then also Mae West with her longer hair um, the 20s and the 30s obviously have a lot of shorter hair um, and my hair is long so I hope that you like this um, stay tuned uh, I have a couple more crazy videos coming out this week and next week and uh, thank you so much for watching bye so I'm starting here with my face already foundation, and I'm just going to go right ahead into the eye and the lips. Starting with the lips, I'm using a skin colored eyeshadow, and I'm putting it all over, all the way up to my brow bone with a fluffy brush. Next I'm using a golden sparkle eyeshadow um, just on my lids, and a darker kind of taupe color in the corners, and I'm just cutting the crease. You want your eyes to look very natural. I use those three shades from the e.l.f. Um, Beauty Must Have book. So next I am taking a brown felt tip uh, eyeliner, just lining my eyes, not winging them out at all. And just smudging that with my finger. I'm also going to smudge it a little bit with this liner brush. To make it look more natural. You want your eyes to look pretty natural. So next I'm just filling in my eyebrows. Um, not too crazy. Um, just filling in the spare spots. And combing it out. <laughs> Tweezing one little hair that I missed. <laughs> next I'm going to be taking black um, pencil eyeliner and just doing um, my waterline and my tie line. But not all the way across. Going ahead and mascaring my eyelashes. Um, this is the Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal and I just got it and I love it. It is amazing. Adding a little bit of mineral blush to my cheeks. And then using a wine red um, lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick right now. <laughs> so moving right along, I'm going to go ahead and put some gel cream, ever curl cream, into my hair. Flat my lipstick <laughs> on my little handkerchief that I keep up here. <laughs> and then I'm going to section my hair. I have to curl my hair in three parts, in three sections because it's so thick. Um, I'm just kind of brushing out the underneath uh, because it does get matted. Um, my hair does get matted. So oh, I'm going to be curling um, my hair with a wand and pin curling it. So I will just show you a couple times um, how that looks. You can use um, bobby pins or you can use uh, alligator clips, whatever you have handy. Pin curl clips. It can be a little difficult um, to do, but I know you'll get a hang of it, especially if you can see what you're doing. <laughs> That's an alligator clip. I find it's easiest to catch your uh, curls on your thumb and then um, pin them with a bobby pin. So I'm going to be doing this last one and then I'm going to go ahead and curl my whole head and I will be back in just a little bit. So here I am letting out the top um, pin curls. I let them out as I go. Um, you can leave them all pin curled up. Um, my bangs I have just clipped out of the way because we will be doing something else with them. Coating the hair with a little hairspray. And then I am ratting the hair just by grabbing it and pulling up with my index finger and thumb. Uh, 30's hair was a little more frizzy 
than Bunny's hair. So I'm just doing this with each individual curl to give it more volume and um, make it a little more frizzy, frizztastic, if you will. <laughs> So for my bangs, I'm going to section it into three or four sections. And I am going to take the first section and roll it up. Um, and I'm just going to pin it. Don't mind the uh, flat iron that I did just there. It doesn't actually help. <laughs> So moving to the next section, again, just rolling it up towards the crown of my head and pinning it with a bobby pin. This section was a little thick, I probably should have broke this down into four sections. So next I'm just going to try to spray concentrated on those areas. and I'm going to let it dry. So now that they are dry, I'm going to let them out, and they're pretty cute as they are. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you could do something with a lot less hair, um, just fixing a curl here. And then I'm going to brush out my little bang curls <laughs> with my fingers. And this makes almost a finger wave sort of curl to your bangs kind of fluff up your hair as you will, um, fixing little spots that are sticking out, um, but you do want it to be frizzy. So here is the makeup look up close, bold lips with a very natural eye, and the hair as well. Um, more frizzy than I would wear it for normal, but I do wear my makeup like this um, quite often. I do like the hair though, I might I might have to work this into my weekly uh, routine. So thank you so much for watching, um, definitely like and subscribe. Thank you so much guys.